What's up, YouTube? It's your friendly neighborhood gamer, your host, Coach Key, and welcome to Legends of Dice Cafe, where we learn about tabletop RPGs from old school to modern and do lots and lots of solo gameplay. Back with my weekly video like I do every Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and today's video, courtesy of one of my Patreons voting on this week's video, oof. We're going to do a session zero using index card RPG for a solo play session. So today we're going to build our character and we're going to set up the base for the adventure that we're going to take our character on. And don't forget, if you're digging the content, make sure you hit that like button so that YouTube thinks that I'm pretty cool. Cool enough to pass on to other people. <laughs> so let's jump into it. All right, so let's get into it. And I went and printed a character sheet off of Google. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys, just in case you're new to the channel, um, check out my dice box. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of it. I think that I need some um, some type of stuffing on the inside so that way they're not like making so much noise when I'm rolling them back and forth. So I've got a nice collection. I do not keep them separated. <laughs> I had like them all thrown in. I, that might change later down the line, you know, and it looks like I'll almost do for a new one. But yeah, I would like to get some padding, some padding around here and stuff. So then maybe I can, you know what, now that I think about it, this would have to change as well because it's not strong enough to, you know, hold. I don't take it anywhere. <laughs> so, and I normally, when I'm playing here, I just pull out a few dice that I need rather than keeping this entire box next to me even when I'm running games too. Maybe I can switch that out or just upgrade and get, or just upgrade and get a new one. But yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you. And I uh, am my cool, these are my very, it's my very first dice box. <laughs> and this is my, this was my very first tray. So, and I painted it, I got it off of Etsy. I don't remember the name of the seller, but if you'd like to know, just leave a comment and I'll make sure that I drop that information. But I thought it came out really well. And I think it was pretty decent price. I think it was about maybe maybe ten dollars or so. You know, came where I can hang it, and I do hang it on a wall over there above my desk when I'm not using it. Also, playing solo would help me to learn the system as well until I was able to find a game. So let's go ahead and get into creating a character. Oh, and now I did a review on this book uh, last week. So if you missed it, check it out when you get some time. Maybe you're sitting on the potty, you know, going for a walk. <laughs> Well, no, never mind. You don't want to. <laughs> you don't. You don't want to watch videos when you're walking. So you know this where you're stationary. Okay. So I did a review on this, and uh, you can use use this. You can utilize. You can utilize the rules that come inside of this book, or you can just use this as some really like a really great foundation, inspiration for your own adventures using any system that you want. So uh, the next card RPG does come with some really cool. Uh, tables in a back. I think that what I'll do is I'll create the adventure, the foundation, and may possibly use uh, some of the tables inside of here. If you have any suggestions on that, drop a comment. So yeah, so but first we'll start with our character and then we're going to use some of the tables inside of here to create a foundation for our adventurer to adventure on. I haven't created a character yet, so this is my first time. And this is such a cool book. I did a really quick review on this as well on my page. So make sure you check it out when you get a chance. So uh, let's see. <laughs> so I created the name. I'm going to name them Luffy Aladdin. All right. First, I'm going to, so I'm going to work a little bit backwards. I'm going to go ahead and build all of my stats. And then I'm going to come back around and go more in depth about, you know, about my character, about their background their mission, and so on and so on, and then I'll pick a miniature out. <laughs> so let's see. So you get six points to distribute among these as bonuses, indicating how awesome you are at certain things. So let's see. Strength. We know what strength is. Dexterity. We know dexterity, constitution, how tough you are, and how much, how well you recover. Intelligence, book smart. I do like being intelligent. Wisdom is the power of the druid or scout, a subtle power of intuition, faith, and senses. I like intuition, so I like wisdom, I like intelligence, um, let's see, and then effort. When you succeed with an, with, when you succeed with an attempt, you'll roll dice for effort. 
add points here to add to those outcomes. So I'm going to put one in strength, one in dexterity, one in constitution, one in intelligence, <laughs> one in wisdom, and one in effort. Building a character. Now, I was I had a character on roll, on roll 20 uh, for the first D&D game that I played. And it kind of did a lot of the work for me. I didn't really have to do a lot of work. I learned the most out of actually taking the time out to create a character, getting my physical paper, grabbing myself an erasable pen, because that's what I like, and getting down and creating my characters in that way. Going over this and creating the character is, again, helping me to learn the game, which I appreciate. So I'm going to start again. <laughs> so uh, let's see, because I've got strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, charisma. You can add to your armor, your effort, your basic work using your bare hands. Uh, your bare hands and raw wits can be very useful in unpredictable perils. Unarm unarmed fighters use this for fist damage. You've got weapons damage. Let's see, any kind of magic effort. Effort, I don't have effort on here, so I'll put it there. I'll put it right there for now. And I'm probably just gonna create a new character sheet because, yeah, because that's gonna bother me. <laughs> So uh, maybe I, I was honestly thinking about creating one myself. All right, so build your stats. Ultimate, if you roll a 20 on an attempt, you'll add D12 to whatever kind of effort you are making. Add points here to exaggerate this effort. So um, I kind of like those, but I think I'm going to stick with these. Strength, Dexterity, Constitution. I'm going to stick with these. And I, oh, I was going to put one in effort. I think I'm going to change one of the plus ones to weapons and take it away from strength. Next up, we're going to choose our gear. Let's see, start a loot, you choose one. Hmm, let's see. I kind of like this right here. Spyglass plus three to wisdom when scouting, scanning horizon for threats. One of many types of scouting. I like that. So I'm going to do that for my starter loot. So I'm going to organize it a little bit more afterwards, but I'm just going to go ahead and jot my information down. So let's see, and next up, universal starting equipment. I get to choose three of them. Hmm, okay. I'm thinking the common shield, which is a plus two armor. And then I'm going to pick, I was thinking, I was thinking the rope and hook for climbing, even though I don't really know what type of adventure we're gonna go on yet. All right, so for my gear, I went with the common shield plus two armor, and then I went with the trapper gear, snares, tackle, and tent, and then I also went with the with the miner's gear, lantern, pick, and spikes. I was thinking those would probably serve me pretty good. So let's see, starting weapons, choose up to three. So I'm gonna do a long bow. I don't know why, but I like a staff and. I'm gonna go with a gun. This will be the first time in playing the tabletop RPGs where I'll have a gun as a weapon. So that's pretty cool. Let's see. I'm gonna go with the pulse rifle. And next up we have hearts. This is a pretty easy, really simple uh, character creation. And index card RPG hit points are portrayed as hearts, which I think is super cool. Each character, each heart represents 10 points. All starting characters come equipped with one heart. Yep, you're all about to blaze out <laughs> into the wide world with 10 stinking hit points. You will gain more hearts in time with loot. And then I'm going to pick my class. You can pick classes in two different worlds. I think I'm going to actually go with a scout. And look, you get plus one to wisdom. And I'm going to probably create two characters. I typically like to play my solo plays with two characters. So, but... So we'll do this one first. So we'll finish this one up. I'm gonna use do a scout for my class. And I definitely need to get a new uh, character sheet. <laughs> so for my class, I'm gonna go for scout. And you get a plus two to wisdom. I'm sorry, you get a plus one. I can't cheat because I'm on camera. <laughs> a plus one to wisdom. And look, we already have the spyglass recommended gear and I didn't get a rope and a hook though but hmm, well 
we'll see. So now we're going to pick our bio form, and I think I'm gonna go with an elf kind. Wow, we get to so we get plus two to dexterity and a plus two to intelligence. So and you can actually play a few trials on here. It comes with so uh, there's no better way to learn what makes an X card RPG unique than to play a few trials. Trials on micro scenarios you can play solo or with your group to get accustomed to how the game flows and what makes it unique. So in XRBG, it comes it already comes with adventures inside of it. I wanted to kind of use this book and show you guys how cool it is and how easy it is to create an adventure using any rule system. All right, so let's open this book up and get a nice little foundation on the type of journey. And we'll find a way how to incorporate something from the tables or the stories inside of an XCart RPG. And here we go. So let's see. The Adventure Maker. Okay. Urban Fantasy Underworld. I like that. Then we're going to go to the actions part. And I think I'm not going to roll on the actions. I'm just going to kind of pick something out. So let's see what pops out to us. So it's got some pretty cool tables. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use Acquire. I like the word. So Acquire some sort of, I don't know, magical item or a magical book. Let's do that. So we're going to say the mission is going to be to acquire a magical item and or book. All right, so let's see. And then for our opposition, ooh, I like, I'm going to use Dark Wizards and Sinister Conspiracies. Yeah, that should make for a pretty interesting story. So that's going to be our mission. And we've got Luffy Aladdin, if you watch One Piece then you know. <laughs> One Piece is one of my favorites. Dragon Ball Z is one of my favorites. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I enjoy anime. So if you've got some suggestions for some cool anime, drop it in the comments. And I've got my character, I think. I think we're going to go with this one for our miniature. But we are going to create another character. I'll probably, since it is so easy and so fast to create, I'll definitely add do the next character when we do session one so hopefully you enjoyed the video thank you so much for taking the time out to watch it stay tuned next week for something cool i don't want to tell you now because i want it to be a surprise <laughs> so stay tuned as always don't forget to make sure you hit that like button make sure you comment and make sure you subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any of the cool content that i drop every week friday at 8 p.m eastern standard time i hope you guys have a super fantastic friday super fantastic weekend and as always i'll see you guys next week same time peace